A very good morning to everyone on board today. My name is Dr. Purudhavan and today I will be discussing about the different type of Parkinson disease as well as the small important details about it. All of you might think that Parkinson is all about hand tremors but trust me it is a way more complicated than just shaking hands. Now as we start with the video I want all of you to take a small activity please extend your hand forward all of you all this way. If your hand remains stable without any shaking or tremors, the chances of having Parkinson are very low. However, while your hand is stretched all the way forward and you notice any tremors, it could be an early sign of the disease where the loss between the brain and the muscles take place, leading to hand and leg tremors. I want you to pay attention to your screens. When I say the fact that hand tremors are observed in approximately 75% of individuals who are suffering from Parkinson's. Apart from this type, there is another where you will not get to see any weakness in your hands or legs. Instead, the main symptom is the patient not able to walk properly. If you are experiencing trembling in your legs while you walk or fear of losing balance as if your entire body might fall, it could be another form of Parkinson's. Let me tell you that this disease is not just limited to the old age but can also affect young people and in some cases even children. Moving forward, I am sure that if you or a loved one who has Parkinson, one prominent question that you might have would be the regarding the step that you can take to manage or control the condition before we get into the, this. One more important detail about Parkinson is that it can be accompanied by another major condition called dementia. Dementia can be described as a loss of congenitive functional functioning which may lead to symptoms like memory loss and forgetfulness in an individual. All these symptoms including hand tremors, walking difficulties and memory issues arise from the changes that take place in your brain due to the disease. Parkinson's involve the loss of neurons, the cell in the brain which are primarily responsible for the transmitting signal throughout the nervous system and controlling our body's movement. Basically, these are the signals which allow our brain to direct our body's action at all times. Let me give you an example for this. You see my hand moving right? reason behind this is not solely my conscious effort but rather than the result of signal from my brain which instruct my hand to move in a certain way. Now to address Parkinson's we primarily need to focus on improving brain's function and minimizing damage. Being a progressive disorder the condition of an individual's worsened with time. And this is why an early detection and preventive measures can slow down its progression. This allows for the better management and potential recovery at a faster rate. So let us understand in a detail as to what the brain requires for proper functioning. Firstly, try and understand this. The brain primarily relies on oxygen and nutrition which are obtained from food. So an adequate supply for oxygen and nutritious food goes a long way for a Parkinson patient. Now that we know the problem and the solution engaging in the exercise that involves some body movement. I personally will recommend to everyone watching this video, these exercises act as a pump improving blood circulation which will ultimately ensure a good oxygen supply to the brain. But it is important to note that these exercises are not supposed to be stressful and should not focus on building muscle mass. For individuals suffering from Parkinson's, simple activities such as yoga, stretching and walking can be beneficial. With this, maintaining an active lifestyle according to me helps slow down the progression of Parkinson's disease. Now moving on to the second aspect of diet. As we age, our dietary choices often become simplified and we tend to avoid on easily accessible food items such as clarified butter, flour and lots of vegetables. While these foods are essential, it is crucial to ensure a balanced diet that include a wide range of nutrition and vitamin and mineral. So rather than sticking to a set 
to team my advice would be to diversify your food choices let me give you an example for this as well if you consume spinach one day incorporating a fenugreek the next day followed by a carrot or ghee which will ensure that your body receive a variety of nutrition on the other hand if you are a non vegetarian adding lean meat or fish in a form of soup can provide the necessary strength and nutrition apart from this milk is often considered as a complete food as it contains various essential nutrition however some individual may experience discomfort or digestive issue with this so my advice would be to add turmeric or cardamom powder to the milk to avoid such problem alternatively milk can be consumed in different forms such as cottage cheese to ensure adequate nutrition intake individuals who are pure vegetarian need to pay extra attention to vitamin b12 and vitamin d as deficiency in these are fairly common so if by chance deficiency are detected in an individual appropriate supplement can be taken to address them with this we must understand that while improvements in diet and exercise help slow down the parkinson disease they may not completely halt or reverse the disease progression this is why my advice to all my patient is always to have a positive outlook and believe in the brain's potential for neuroplasticity while some doctors may argue that the neuroplasticity is limited in older individual this is because even in the old age we witness wound healing broken bone mending and skin regeneration similarly the brain has the potential to adapt and recover while complete recovery may not be possible even partial recovery can significantly improve the quality of life for an individual suffering from the disease moreover medication prescribed by doctors play a crucial role in managing the symptoms of parkinsons now that we have discussed almost everything in conclusion i would like to say that parkinson disease is a complex condition so by adopting a holistic approach that includes exercise a balanced diet and proper medication guidance we can slow down the progression of the parkinsons and maintain a better quality of life always remember early detection preventive measures and a positive mindset are very important to managing parkinson effectively with this it is time for me to take leave if you have any doubt regarding this video please feel free to leave a comment in the section below and i will take it up personally see you all next time till then take care and stay healthy